And fraud and security consultant Richard Komado has described as trivial and funny in his words the arrest of Assistant Commissioner of Police Dr. Benjamin Agozo and others. ACP Dr. Benjamin Agozo has, uh, as you may be aware, been charged with abetment to commit crime with treason. He's alleged to have been involved in the recent coup plot saga. In a 3FM News interview, Mr. Kumado said the Bureau of National Investigations, as BNI, is well equipped to do a good job on the said arrest, but argued the case looks a bit questionable on the surface. Well, there was earlier news that ACP Agozo's family uh, is unable to get to him in the BNI uh, custody where he is now. Well, there's an update to that. We understand that his family has been able to now see him in BNI custody. And uh, we're working on the telephone lines to speak with the lead counsel for ACP Agozo, uh, lawyer Martin Pebo. He's going to be joining us shortly on the telephone for, with an update on this and a few other issues emerging. The lead counsel for ACP Agozo, Martin Pebo. A private legal practitioner join me on the telephone. Um, thank you for your time this evening. First of all, let me establish it. There was earlier news that the family was denied access to him. We understand that the family has been able to see him now, true? After a very long battle. Hello? Because uh, the family was granted access. It didn't come on a platter, no. So that's it. And the DNA. That they had the effrontery to deny the family access. We had to fight and fight and fight before family they granted access. So we want to sound a caution. I think His Excellency has to seek a different action against the director of Vienna. I think he, he, he behaves as if he's above the constitution. That, that is on the coming of a, a state intelligence institution which derives its own power from the constitution and other acts of parliament. Yet, at the same time, trying to breach the constitution. I see. That's not good. Well, but did, did he tell you uh, about the kind of treatment he's received in the BNI custody since he was, uh, he's, been, he's been there? Oh, no. Uh, Alfred, let's, well, there isn't much to say on that one. They try to say that he's not feeling well because he's not eating. He's disgusted at the fact that he's been arrested for comment, which is not even treasonous in any way. The comment is that if, uh, that the conditions in Ghana are right for Arab Spring. It will take only a trip back. So has he triggered anything? Has done, has, or has he planned to trigger an Arab Spring? Well, so all he says is that unemployment is a big problem. If it is not solved, it can uh, lead to an Arab Spring. It's um, not the first to have said so. Many, many, many citizens have said it before him. So why do you use this against him? Well, I'm going to read. I'm going to read portions, Mr. Bebo, If you could permit me, I'm going to read portions of that WhatsApp message he posted on the said group, which is uh, the basis. It appears the basis for this particular probe, and uh, he also being held in the BNI custody. So it reads: civil unrest is still imminent. I'm reading this message was said to have been posted by uh, ACP Agbozo. The indications are not far-fetched. Poor also uh, getting poorer and then the rich getting richer. Political deception is at the highest level. We must take steps to address the issue instead of wishing it away. And then he says civil arrest is indeed imminent. I mean, this is said to be portions of the message that he posted. Look at that, his capacity. Um, yes, other people would have said this, but you, you don't see anything wrong with this? No, Alfred, let, let's not conflict the issues. Let's not conflict. Number one, this one that you are reading to me, look, this wasn't read to us at the DNI. That's not what they read to us. That's the first one. So I'm, ne I'm not able to continue on that tangent. But number two, is it what you've read? You think this amounts to its reason? Hey, Alfred, then if they are not careful, 
almost I mean, millions of citizens will be arrested. Papa. This kind of statement that you read, if this is what you, if you are latching on, then we will be ready to arrest millions of Ghanaian citizens who make similar comments. So as I stated, this is not what the BNI confronted him with yesterday. They are mm. the chief anchor of their case. The, main, the kernel of their case yesterday was that he said conditions are right in Ghana for an Arab Spring. That was the main one. That was the link thing. That was mm. the, 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 the kernel of the case. Uh, we said, oh, how? I to say so. Has he triggered it? Has he done anything? Great. Yeah. So what he thinks is that, look, Alfred, the main issue is that mm. as for the state's right to investigate alleged offenses, Oh, nobody can fight it. We will even be naive to fight that. But where right. we're getting it wrong, where the DNA is getting it wrong, is the detention. Mm. If you want to investigate, sure, by all means, investigate. Mm. So you grant him bail, let him go and come. Then you continue your investigation. But down under the exception, what is he doing? And not yeah. under the law, in the absence of his lawyer, they cannot interrogate him. True. If the lawyer is not present, they cannot interrogate him. So True. now that I am uh, where I am now, and he is in custody, what is the, uh, the, uh, the benefit? Mm. Is he going to run? Like, well, I don't want you to clarify this for me because we're hearing uh, ACP Agbozo made a donation of some 2,000 Ghana cities. What was that money for? It was for a philanthropic activity at Abu Glossu. The tag was going to take and undertake an outreach program at Abu Glossu and he donated 2,000. Right. It was done. So that's the point. That outreach okay. program was undertaken. Mm. No, I, I just need a clarity to that, Ali. So the, I mean, we're all clear on this and, and how that links to this whole thing. But I'm really grateful for your time this evening. Thank you so much. Well, Martin Pebble is the lead counsel for ACP Gozo and uh, also the private legal practitioner that joining us.